Let's see how we can add a new zone in DNS Server on Windows Server 2019. So if we go to Tools and we open up DNS, it opens up DNS Manager for us. Now I'm on the domain controller, so I'll expand the forward lookup zones. And we see there's a couple of different zones. One is MSDCS and the other is the Active Directory domain controller zone. So the MSDCS basically tells us that this is a zone that gets replicated to other domain controllers. So if we have more than one, then we have to have this MSDCS in order for a replication to happen properly. And then we see the techpub.us, which is our internal domain name. So let's say we want to add another zone. So for instance, let's say we start hosting a web server internally and it's using a completely different name. So we'll right click and on the server itself and we'll choose new zone and the wizard pops up. We click Next, and now we want to create a primary zone. Now, if you want this to replicate with other domain controllers, then leave this box checked. If you want to just have this zone only on the server, then you can uncheck it, totally up to you. So I'll click Next. So it's gonna be a forward lookup zone because it's going to go names to IP addresses. Click Next, we'll put in the zone name, and let's make it tech pub. Dot com. And it's going to create a new file, which is fine. And we have the option to allow dynamic updates or not allow dynamic updates. And by default, it's not going to do that when you set up a primary zone non-active directory. So the advantage to this is that you're not going to get anybody who can update this possibly by poisoning the, uh, the records that are in there. If we allow secure and non-secure, then what's going to happen is, is that there is going to be a risk that you could have some uh, DNS hack that will change some of your records. I'm not too worried about it either way, but the safer way is the bottom option. Click Finish. And there's our techpub.com. And by default, it's going to add this start of authority record as well as this name server record, which basically says this server is authoritative for this domain. Now I want to add a host record. So I'm going to right click and choose on new host. And let's just say it's going to be a website and it's going to be www. And then I'm going to put in an internal IP address. And if I have a reverse lookup zone, I'll also create the uh, reverse pointer record as well. In this case, I don't need it. I'll just click Add Zone and Done. So now if I pull up a command prompt, and PowerShell is the default now, but I'll just type in CMD for, for basically a command prompt. It converts it into a command prompt. I'm going to type ping.techpub.com, and look at that. It points to our 21.254 address, which we just created. Now, I don't actually have a web server at that address. It was simply there for example purposes. But uh, we created the zone. We created the host record. And so if we have our IIS server or any other web server set up, then our users internally will now be able to get to it. Now, what if we want people to get to it from the outside? Well, you have to port forward 443 and port 80 TCP from the outside to that web server, and then you have to set up the public uh, IP address in the DNS registrar that you're using, or DNS service provider, to point the public address to the outside IP address of your firewall. And we'll cover that in another video in this playlist, so go ahead and check that out. So that's how we set up a new DNS zone in Windows Server 2019, and it also works on 2016, 2012, all the way back down to Windows 2000.